Hello, survivors. This is Raphael, the creative director at Hinterland. Today I'm joined by Katie Sorrell, the project lead on The Long Dark. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie, and I lead the team working on Episode 5, as well as Tales from the Far Territory, and the general updates to survival mode. This year, Katie has taken over leading The Long Dark, and it seemed fitting that she joined me on this big day for the game and for Hinterland. Today we launch Part 1 of Tales from the Far Territory, the first paid expansion pass for The Long Dark. Katie's been my main design partner on The Long Dark for the past seven years, has led the development of Wintermute, handled the creation of all the survival regions since we ended Pleasant Valley, and she's heading up the completion of Episode 5 and the 12-month expansion pass campaign for Tales from the Far Territory. I can't imagine leaving these parts of The Long Dark in better hands, and I'm thrilled for Katie to join me in speaking with you today. Today, Katie will help me explain how things are going to work with the expansion, and the things we've added to the game in today's first part of the expansion called Forsaken Airfield. Our purpose behind Tales from the Far Territory is to expand and enhance the core Long Dark survival mode, with new regions, new gameplay, new items, and something new we're calling Tales. Tales are narrative-themed challenges based on the history of the Far Territory, and playing them will provide an insight into the lore and fill out some of Great Bear Island's background, while adding new mysteries that tie into the greater storyline in the Long Dark. Before now, the only real story in survival mode has been the world itself, and the survival adventures you experienced along the way. Wintermute, our story mode, is about Mackenzie and Astrid, the hard case, the journey to Perseverance Mills, and the story about the survivors they meet along the way. With Tales from the Far Territory, we're adding some distinct narrative content in survival mode for the very first time. This is a way for us to enrich the world of the game, and also to experiment with narrative mechanics we may want to use post-Wintermute, or even in other games we make at Hinterland. But before we get into that, let's talk about the expansion pass itself and how it will work. Anyone who buys Tales in the Far Territory will be brought into an update stream featuring 12 months worth of new content, which will be delivered in six parts, releasing on an 8 to 10 week cadence. The first part of each update video for Tales will cover the new features and content being added to the paid stream. And because we want all our players to benefit from the exciting addition of the Far Territory to the Long Dark Survival Mode, we're adding a range of free updates along with the paid parts. The paid and free content for each part will be released at the same time, with the free content going to the base, long dark, or the new Survival Edition games. The paid content will be updated to the Tales from the Far Territory version of the game. For more info on how the expansion works, and for the full roadmap, head over to the website at thelongdark.com expansion. The first major addition in Part 1 is the Forsaken Airfield region. You can access it from Broken Railroad and follow a winding journey through the Far Range branch line and on to the Transfer Pass, which is the hub region that provides access to the airfield, as well as the two other new regions being added later in the Expansion Pass campaign. The Far Territory is deep into the interior of Great Bear, and we wanted your journey there to feel like an adventure. So we've created a long set of transition regions that reinforce the sense that you are going somewhere new and much deeper into Great Bear Island than you've ever been, into a new area with its own history, and to some degree, its own geography. Forsaken Airfield features a hangar, control tower, and several other points of interest that will keep even our most dedicated survivors busy for hours. It's a vast region featuring a wide open plain bordered by steep mountains. Over the course of the Expansion Pass campaign, the airfield and the other new regions of the Far Territory will reveal their secrets. But for now, we suggest you get familiar with the lay of the land. You may notice a new phenomenon, electrostatic fog, or glimmer fog as it's referred to colloquially here. This is a strange atmospheric anomaly caused by the interaction between the aurora and, well, you'll have to wait and see. The point here is that glimmer fog does things to technology, not unlike what we've seen from the aurora itself. An exposure to it can result in the insomnia affliction. Getting insomnia can interrupt your sleep and gradually chip away at your condition as a result. So while it may be tempting to explore the world brought to life by the glimmer fog, you should do so very carefully. Pace yourself. In addition to the expansive new regions, the airfield and its mysteries, and the strange glimmer fog phenomenon, Tales from the Far Territory also adds the concept of tool variants to the game. These variants are versions of existing tools, but each has its own story and custom tuning. For example, Vaughn's rifle, which is lighter and more responsive than the standard 303 in the game, but less robust or the Woodwright's bow, which is tougher and easier to aim, but pays for it by being heavier than the standard survival bow. Altogether, we've added five new tool variants in Part 1, to be found as you explore the nooks and crannies of Great Bear Island. 
They should be a nice little reward for explorers who really go off the beaten path, but don't expect these special versions of the tools to be easy to find. And there's more of these to come later in the expansion pass. Tales from the Far Territory also has its own soundtrack, composed by Sasha Dekichian, who has composed the entire survival mode soundtrack to date. He's brought a new flavor to Tales, some of which you can hear in this update video. All told, there will be between 15 and 20 minutes of original new soundtrack music released in Tales from the Far Territory, available to everyone who buys the expansion. Along with part one of Tales, we're also releasing a free December update to survival mode today. This free update adds new content and enhancements to the base survival sandbox, and should help keep the game feeling fresh and relevant for anyone who plays the long dark, even if you don't purchase Tales from the Far Territory. The first major enhancement in the free December update is a complete overhaul of all loot and resources in the base game. This means we've gone through and updated every loot table and all the spawnable in-world resources that you might find as you explore Great Bear Island. So, if over the years you've become used to counting on that particular toog or rifle, or can of peaches to spawn on that particular shelf in that particular cabin, then you'll have to get used to a whole new world starting today. We've also set entirely new spawn points for survival, so get used to feeling lost again. When you start a new region, you may find yourself spawning into an unexpected location. Many of you have been conscientiously checking under car visors for years, hoping that someday you would find something interesting there. We're happy to share that after today, all your hopefulness has paid off. With a December update, you can now find visor notes, scrawled bits of information that highlight a location on your world map, which might hold life-saving supplies. The visor notes may point you to a location in an entirely different region of the world, creating the opportunity for adventure along the way. We think this approach provides a nice light touch objective system that can add some definition to your survival days. It's also nice to see that after years of a male-only deer population on Great Bear, you can finally see does. You'll find that the stag population has been dramatically thinned out, replaced primarily with does, which provide a little less meat on average, so you'll want to account for this in your survival plans. And in a future update, as we add other new wildlife to the game, we'll completely overhaul the wildlife spawns as well, to remove some of the predictability that has crept into the game over the years. And finally, we've added the ability to craft improvised crampons to the game. Crampons were first introduced in the Hesitant Prospect update, and they've been helping save survivors and their ankles ever since. With the December update, you can now craft your own crampons, saving you the treacherous journey to Ash Canyon. With today's releases to Tales from the Far Territory and the free updates to survival mode, you get to experience the first new features and content of our 12-month expansion pass campaign. You'll notice along with it that the game's structure itself has changed. In the past, you started the Long Dark and landed at a 3D main menu. Now you'll see that each game, the Long Dark, Survival Edition, the Winter Mute DLC, or Tales from the Far Territory, each have their own unique home menu. This is the best way to tell which version of the game you have, and also to stay up to date on any additions to the game, news from Hinterland, and announcements about general project updates or new games we're working on. The important information here is that if you bought the Long Dark before today, you automatically get both Survival Mode and Winter Mute, our story mode, and you will still get Episode 5 when it releases, and all of the free updates that coincide with parts of the Tales from the Far Territory will be releasing over the next 12 months. If you want to get access to the paid stream content, you'll need to buy Tales from the Far Territory, which can either be a DLC upgrade to the Long Dark, or a DLC upgrade from our new Survival Edition the entry-level survival mode experience that brings you into the world of the Long Dark. We're looking forward to showing future update videos outlining the ongoing development of Tales from the Far Territory. In the meantime, if you have any questions about the expansion, or want to review the roadmap of what's to come, please visit thelongdark.com forward slash expansion. Thanks for listening and for joining us on this exciting new journey in the development of the Long Dark. We can't wait to walk beside you over the next 12 months as you experience all the exciting new features and content we're adding to the game. All the best for 2023, and we'll see you in the new year. Until then, have a safe holiday and enjoy your time in the Far Territory.